nitrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen. We always hear that plants need nitrogen. They need nitrogen, nitrogen. But why do plants need nitrogen? You need to know why they need it in order to understand why you should provide it and why most plants can't make nitrogen in a form that they can use themselves. So in order to understand why plants need nitrogen, we have to learn a little bit of organic chemistry. But hey, it's gonna be fun. So there's really four major organic molecules that we need to learn about. The first one are carbohydrates. So a carbohydrate is a sugar and a starch, basically. Now, carbohydrates are made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, CHO. Then we have lipids. Lipids are basically fats and oils, waxes like beeswax. Um, lipids are made out of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Cho, so so far we got cho, cho. So far no nitrogen, right? But the next two organic molecules need nitrogen. Proteins, proteins need nitrogen. For plants to make protein, they need to have nitrogen. Proteins are made of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. So now we got chan, cho, cho, chan. Cho Cho Chan, Cho Cho Chan. Then we get the last big major organic molecule, nucleic acids. Now a nucleic acid is DNA or RNA. Nucleic acids are made of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen again, and phosphorus phosphates so we got chomp not chomp with an m but chomp with an n so we got cho for the carbohydrates cho for the lipids chon for the proteins and chomp for the nucleic acid so cho cho chon chomp so plants need nitrogen for proteins and nucleic acids mainly, but they have a problem. They cannot break down nitrogen from the atmosphere, which is kind of crazy because most of our atmosphere is nitrogen. But the thing with nitrogen is, it's really difficult to break apart because nitrogen in the atmosphere is N2, nitrogen gas but it has a triple bond. It's a covalent bond, and it is very difficult to break a triple bond. Imagine if you were a karate expert and you had to break one board, and then you had to break two boards, and then you had to break three boards. Three boards, I'm assuming, is harder to break than two boards, and that's harder to break than one board. But guess what? I'm not a karate expert, so I don't know for sure. But triple bonds are extremely difficult to break. But luckily, there are other organisms besides most plants that are able to take the nitrogen from the atmosphere and turn it into a form that plants can use. These organisms are called nitrogen fixtures. Most of those are bacteria and fungus, and they have um, a symbiotic relationship with certain plants and they're able to break down nitrogen and also they have a benefit. They're getting a home from the plant's roots. They're getting some plants, some of the nutrients from the plants and um, in turn, they're breaking down nitrogen. So that's why a lot of fertilizers have nitrogen in forms that plants can already use. Usually nitrites and nitrates most plants can use those forms already. But if you don't have that type of fertilizer or if you don't wanna do store-bought fertilizer, there's other ways you can um, get nitrogen into your soil. You can grow certain plants like legumes are, are, are nitrogen-fixing plants that will store nitrogen in their plants 
or in their stems or leaves everywhere and then you can chop those um, crops down and use that as a mulch and that nitrogen is already in a form that most plants can use in nitrites and nitrates and you have a natural organic mulch. Um, that's why a lot of cover crops are made or used because they are nitrogen fixing plants because they have a symbiotic relationship with bacteria and fungus and then you can chop that cover crop down use it as a cover a cover mulch and now you have nitrogen added to your soil so i hope this has been helpful in explaining why plants need nitrogen if you enjoyed this video like subscribe give me a comment i'll see you next time